It was a lovely Sunday morning in the Boyer household. The morning sun was seeping through a crack in the curtains, warm and bright. And look, our friend Henry is waking up, feeling refreshed and ready to start his day. The same cannot be said for his cat, though, who was still napping happily on Henry's lap. Henry looked at his cat tenderly, reached down, and threw him across the room. What? He threw his cat across the room. Why the fuck would I do that? You heard me. Henry picked up his cat and threw him across the room. Oh my god, Whiskey, I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, I didn't mean to... I... <sighs> Henry stood up and exited his room. But I... Go! Henry walked into the living room. There he found his father watching TV. Even though he didn't outwardly show it, Henry had a lot of respect for his father. He had a way of thinking complexly about important topics in a way that Henry admired. He was a free thinker, not compromising on his values for the sake of others' approval, and he had his own subdued way of making Henry know he cared about him. His father had given him a lot more in life than a Y chromosome and a lack of daddy issues, and for that, Henry was thankful. Henry said a racial slur. What? Come on, it doesn't even have to be one of the bad ones. They're all bad! He won't even mind, he's white. Go on, take your pick. Jing... N... J... Get... J... J... So... So... I... I... I have to go. Canadian! Who are you? I was really looking forward to that. I hope you're happy. Who are you? I'm a disembodied voice with the power to dictate every aspect of your life. I mean, I picked up on that part. Well, I don't know what to tell you then. Well, if your goal is to commandeer my life, you're doing a pretty shitty job. I just openly disobeyed one of your commands. You know what they say. The more you build them up, the harder you knock them down. I don't remember the exact quote. It was something to that effect. What? See those knives over there? No, 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 no,